Hopscotch is a really fun app to use with students to, again, um, learn some of the basics of block coding and computational thinking. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's called Hopscotch, and it looks like that with the colorful H. The fun thing about this app is that you can control lots of different creatures at one time. So when you're ready to make a new one, well here at home you can actually play a bunch of different peoples, but if you want to make a new one you just hit the plus sign here. And then you can choose blank project. Once you have your blank project up, it's kind of fun. You get to push the plus sign down at the bottom and you can choose all sorts of things. You can put text in there, you can put shapes in there, little characters, or even like jungle things. So I put a sloth up here. And now you can see there's a little add code. So you can have a ton of creatures at one time. I'm going to add code. And this is kind of fun. So you have all these different things like when the iPad or if there are collisions or conditions. I'm going to say when my creature hears a loud noise and then I get to choose what he gets to do. I want him to flip. And then what else? I want him to grow. And this is a good way to put percentages in. So I want him to grow by 75% every time that he hears a loud noise. Okay. So then when I'm done, I can just tap off. And now if I push play here in the top right corner, you'll see what happens when he hears a loud noise. Bah! 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 So you can see that when the iPad registers that he hears my voice and it's being too loud, the creature not only flipped, but he also grew. So the little creature is following my command. And so it's just kind of neat because you can have all these different creatures in a habitat, um, and you can add all sorts of different things to your screen. It's just a fun app where students can really get creative.